Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at what happened to the Didact after Halo 4. Now, I know that I said I was going to elaborate more on the idea that I had for Chief's death, but I wanted some more time to work on it. I have quite a lot of ideas for that theory, but I don't want to make a video on it until I've sort of like fully fleshed it out. So in the meantime, I figured I'd make another one of these what happened to videos. Since you guys seem to really be loving them, I love making them, so kind of seems like a win-win situation. So if you do enjoy, don't forget to leave a like down below and also a comment telling me your thoughts on the Didact as a character, and also if you'd ever want him to return to the games. Let's begin. So, when Chief knocked him off the light bridge on his ship, the Mantle's Approach, at the end of Halo 4, the Didact didn't actually die. Below the bridge was a slipspace fissure, and when the Didact fell into it, he was teleported to Insulation 03, Gamma Halo. It's really surprising that having a pulse grenade planted and explode within his undersuit didn't kill him, but then again, he's definitely been through far, far worse in the past. I will rip apart your casket. I shall crumble your coffin. I will tear you from your shroud. Spartan Team Black had been sent to Gamma Halo to provide security to a science camp stationed on the ring. Unaware of the recent attack at Ivanov Station, they were trying to re-establish contact with the staff there when they noticed a huge amount of debris leaving slipspace in the sky. One of the pieces of debris landed nearby the team, and they went to investigate, only to find the unconscious body of the Didact. They had no idea who, or what for that matter, it was, but upon inspection, its eyes lit up. And then the Didact woke up and proceeded to massacre Black Team in what was a pretty brutal fashion. Soon after, the Didact met with 859 Static Carillon, who was the monitor of the Composer's Forge, where the Composers are constructed. Static Carillon had travelled to the ring to investigate a recently opened service portal that led there himself, after the ring's monitor remained completely unresponsive. The Didact asked the monitor to take him to the Forge, where he established a base in an abandoned foreigner city. It was here where he struck a deal with the Monitor, bring him a slightly damaged Halo to repair and use against humanity, and in turn, he would stop creating knights from composed humans, along with stop bringing them to the Composer's Forge. Reason being, Static Carillon considered these knights abominations. The following day, the Didact was informed of Blue Team's presence at the Composer's Abyss, and that they'd pass through the portal to the Composer's Forge by Static Carillon, and the Didact decided that he would welcome them personally to his world. Of course, when they first met, Blue Team opened fire, and the Didact spawned an army of Prometheans to retaliate. Static Carillon kept his end of the bargain, delivering Insulation 03 to the Composer's Forge, but turned on the Didact when he found out that he'd violated his side of the bargain by taking Knight there. The Didact headed to the portal to Gamma Halo, taking a Composer from the Forge with him, and Blue Team, now accompanied by Static Carillon, followed in hot pursuit. On the surface of the ring, the Didact confronted Blue Team, with intent to finally finish them off. However, Blue Team had a Master Chief. Chief stabbed the Didact directly in the eye with his combat knife, causing the Didact to regret not killing them when he had the chance before. He lifted Chief off the ground in retaliation, and crushed his helmet, and then knocked Kelly, Linda and Fred to the ground, halting their attempts to save him. Things were looking pretty dire, and Chief was mere seconds from death, when all of a sudden, Static Carillon opened fire on the Didact with his laser beam, causing him to drop the insulation's index, and then teleported him to Gamma Halo's control room. Blue Team returned to their longsword, whilst Chief grabbed the index and headed to the control room alone, where he confronted the Didact one last time. In the control room, Chief inserted the index into the block, as if to fire the ring, and the two engaged in some pretty intimate talk, where Chief acknowledged the conventional methods of killing somebody didn't seem to work when it came to the Didact, so he devised what he called a two-step process with Static Carillon to finally kill the Didact. Firstly, Chief would manually deactivate the safety protocols on the ring. Then, the monitor would eject the control room, sending it crashing down to the Composer's Forge. Just as Chief finished telling the Didact his plan, the room ejected as planned, and Chief was teleported out of the room by the Monitor and back to Blue Team's longsword just in time, while the Didact was sent plummeting down towards the Composer's Forge. On its way down, the room collided with the remaining Composers, which caused them to fire on the Didact, digitising him and also storing his essence in a digital form. However, the Didact is not dead. 
he's composed, but he's not dead. Only technically classify him as contained, and there's almost a 100% chance that sometime in the future, he will return, but not necessarily as the enemy. His essence should be stored in the Composer's Abyss, which is pretty ironic when you consider that his essence is stored alongside the essences of the victims of his attack on New Phoenix. That's going to make for some pretty awkward conversation. However, recent evidence from the description of the Didact toy in Halo 5 Forge suggests that he's somehow made his way into the Domain, which could spell an entire whirlwind of trouble for humanity. Thanks a lot for watching guys, that's going to do it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the sort of third video in this new series I've started. I really like making these videos and you guys seem to love them too, so expect quite a few more in the near future, alongside the video discussing Chief's death and also your suggestions that I picked out a couple videos ago. Also, don't forget to check out the new Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash hidden Xperia, and be sure to join me next time when I discuss either the Master Chief's death or take an in-depth look at the history of the Swords of Sanghelius. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate you all more than you will ever fathom, and I'll catch you next time.